Greetings, comrades, and hello, everyone. I'm Quinn866, going to be recording a really late video today. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it tonight or whatever, but either way, point is, I decided I wanted to do something new on my channel. I realized that when I've been reacting to videos, I've been reacting kind of blandly, except in my Winnie the Pooh videos. That was a bit different because I threw, uh, where, where did I put the chip clip exactly? Uh... Okay, okay, here we go, it's underneath my desk, yeah. That thing I threw after the plastic bag was actually this chip clip right here, in case you can't see it or whatever. It's a plastic chip clip, and what's shocking is that it didn't actually break. Like, look, it still functions fine, and I don't see any cracks in it or anything, so I'm actually surprised a flimsy plastic dollar store chip clip like that actually survived such an impact. But I thought of doing something different in my reaction videos. What if I reacted as someone else? Now, of course, I can't really do this as very well-known characters like Mario or Darth Vader or, or, or characters that anyone would know. Instead, I'll be reacting to them as characters I myself created. Now, of course, this isn't necessarily going to be very well-known because no one actually knows how I imagine these characters and what I think of them like. But, I've decided to kind of test it out, see how it works. So yes, I'll be pretending to act like characters when I react to this series of videos for the next couple times. Just a heads up, we're going to be watching things that are probably not what you'd want to watch. For instance, not Metroid Prime Hunters, not Winnie the Pooh, not... Any of this. We're instead going to be watching one of my least favorite cartoons ever. Even though I've never actually seen the cartoon except for one episode and read one book as a kid. I'm not joking when I say this, but... Caillou. Yeah, you can hit that dislike button, but I don't care. And why is that in there? I think I'm going to just... Whatever. My point is, I've always hated Caillou. I've always hated this show. It's From the two or three episodes I've seen and the one book, I think I said one episode before. I meant to say three. I'm sorry. I, I get my numbers mixed up. I can't count. No, I'm kidding. I can totally count. Probably. <laughs> okay. Okay, seriously, seriously, though. Let's be serious now. Caillou has no conflict. Caillou is, ba is basically Peppa Pig. But for boys of that age. Peppa Pig is for girls of that age. Caillou is for boys. So if you'd rather watch Peppa Pig or Caillou, good luck, because I wouldn't watch either. I'd rather watch something realistic. In fact, that's live action. Even if that wouldn't intrigue me, it's certainly better than this travesty of a cartoon. So, without time to rest, let's ask. Uh, which episode should I start with? Both these episodes I've watched, by the way, but I've forgotten everything. I erase them from my mind. And by the way, this is not my character. This is me genuinely saying this from my heart. So, before I begin, I just want to say what the character that I'm going to be pretending to be is. The character I typically play as is these swarm of bugs, or like a, an elite member of these bugs known as the Meta Mites. M E T A M I T E S. Excuse me, hiccup. So I'm going to be pretending to be this group of hive mind, transforming kind of nanite bugs that talk like this. We are the hive mind. We will not falter in our resolve. We will proceed any means necessary to protect the hive and its sanctuary. Our sanctuary will be protected at all time. We are the hive mind. We are the swarm. So that's a bit of a demo for you guys, and a bit of a monologue I could actually use maybe in future videos. But that's not important right now. Let's start with... Uh, let's go with the shorter one first. Oh. God dang it. Must have had my autoplay on. That's not true. I'm going to be out of character here for a quick second. It should say, now that I think about it, next stop, 
gonna here next stop torture that's how I feel about when I watch this cartoon any as a kid I hated it and I was still like five or four and I still hated it so as a kid you can't argue that I didn't like this at any or that I did like this at any point because I've hated this cartoon since the beginning. Yeah, anyways. Let's uh, close out the drawings for now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know I've done that before, but I might do that a bit more actually in my channel. Uh-huh. Where, where's the volume? It's really hard to hear. Very excited because he was about to take a long trip on a train for the very a train. God, is this Thomas the Tank Engine all over again? At least the Thomas the Tank Engine, there was conflict. And no, it wasn't very good conflict. I know, I know. The conflict in Thomas the Tank Engine was very minimal, but it was better than this. Very first time. Oh, first time riding a train, huh? What? What did you expect? A red carpet letting you on the thing? Or a one-way ticket to hell? Or heaven? I'm not sure what the phrase... Oh, I ruined the moment! Okay, I, I, I gotta get back on my hive mind monologue. There's the train coming, Mommy. It will come... When... We absorb your life energy. Oh, whoops. God dang us. Okay, I gotta stay in character. So not even the young, uh, girl knows of a train. I'll show you the true meaning of a train. When you become us. When you become darkness itself. Evil will empower you. Doom will defend you. And you will become the Eye of Oblivion. Wimp! You're such a wimp! And you're the father, the man of the family! You should know that suitcases are pathetically... Well, okay. I'll cut you slack if it's a briefcase. But why would you bring a briefcase on a trip? It'd be a suitcase? Different story. Get a duffel bag, man of the family. Man of the family. We will not falter in pointing out all your flaws. We're only going away for two weeks, but we packed enough for the entire summer. Daddy, Daddy, I hear the train, it's coming! No shit, Sherlock. I will meditate and pray to the Lotus that this cartoon has a somewhat of a conflict. I'm sorry, I seriously didn't hear that. Train getting closer. He began to feel a little scared. You're scared of a train. Well, I'm going to break characters again here. I, I'm going to be honest, I can kind of relate to that. I mean, the noise train makes on their horns, and even on the tracks, it's a little terrifying. Especially if you feel like you're going to get run over by one. Yeah, I know it's a weird thing, but I can say I'm scared of trains' horns as well. It's really hard to describe. It's like a gunshot. It seems like so... And with a gunshot, it's understandable because it can kill you. But with the train... I bet you train horns, if you're close enough, are louder than gunshots. Like a siren on a police car. You think you've done something wrong, but you don't know... Until that siren starts buzzing in your ears like a freaking fly. My god. Okay, I gotta I got get back in character. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. Or should I say, we are back. Let us begin. Are you seriously scared of a little train? Well then, prepare to ride 
into darkness. Down. Deep into darkness. Actually, you know what? I feel like this voice doesn't fit the meta mics. It shouldn't be like, Actually, I'm your neighbor, kid. It should be more like, We are the hive mind. Actually, nah, way too deep. That's actually way too deep. And AI. And AI. Orita. God, I can't think of a I think can't think of a gibberish word to practice with. Uh Scarmadarphilus. Scarmadarphilus. You know, I'll, I'll go with that. We are the hive mind. We are the swarm. You seriously don't know that you need Oh my god. Are you two coming on board? Yes, sir, we are. Well, and maybe someone should help your dad with those bags. And now he smiles. Soon that please smile will turn into a smile of absolute sadicity. As sadistic as I smile. What? There you go. Are you folks traveling far? We're on the train for two days. Really? Okay, can I just make a quick comment? Even though this is Western animation, my god, this is I I, I, I hate to say this guys, but Peppa Pig at least Okay, how do I even say this? It's weird to say this because Peppa Pig looks worse, but I want to be honest, the graphics here aren't much better. And I've heard people say that Peppa Pig looks like, I don't know, like like a, uh, a finger painting versus Caillou, which looks like the Mona Lisa. I completely disagree. Even if they're both kids' cartoons, this is nowhere close to what I've developed. And the voice acting... Oh my god, have you heard some of this horrendous voice acting? At least I can do good voices, in my opinion at least. Let me give you a little demo of how good my voices are. <coughs> okay, that was way too exaggerated. Good sir, I'm Herschel. Herschel the butler. Of course though, I'm only a computer program. But, if you wish to request any systems, functions, I will execute them for you, good sir. Welcome to the new Herschel OS, good sir. Enjoy. What else can I do? Ladies and gentlemen, I am Hans Gruber. Mr. Nakatomi won't be joining us tonight. His absence is why he is now dead. I'm going to count to three. Oh, like you did with Hans? Come on! Uh, bleh! Oh, like you did with Mr. Nakatomi? Come on, Hans! Click! Wait, oh, I'm out of bullets! That's what you're thinking, right? I think it's a bit hard to tell which character is which there. Okay, okay, you know what? You, you know what? what? One more, I'll get one more in. This one's gonna be kinda creepy, but if you know who it is... Just a hint, he's from The Walking Dead. The video game, not the TV show. Actually, I'm your neighbor, kid. Yeah, imagine having a neighbor with that voice. And what's your name? Caillou. Well, Caillou, have you ever slept on a train before? <laughs> oh my god. I'm even more bored than I'm bored with Winnie the frickin' Pooh. Oh my god, when did this become worse than Disney? I mean, Disney's not bad, Disney's fine, but a couple of Disney's productions have been questionable. I guess it's just say like questionable, not treacherous or whatever I said. No. You're gonna love it. You'll see, it'll rock you straight to sleep. Where are the beds? That's the best part. 
They magically appear when it's dark. Say sleep three times and clap your hands, and I bet you they'll show up. Caillou does not believe that. Really? Really? His face there totally would have been priceless if he didn't believe that. No humor either? What the fuck? But first, I'm gonna need your tickets. Am I the only one that uh, kind of think that looks like a pair of pliers? One of those pliers that, like, you know, can be used to totally kill someone? The, the, the needle nose, needle nose pliers. They're almost like a knife almost. A, a scissors. That's what I want to say. Scissors. What? There's only two. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? Just because of that, there only being one, two tickets. That's actually part of his red stripe here. I don't think that's a third one. Because there's two tickets, I'm not gonna do this in my hive mind. Meta Mike character anymore because I am pissed off now. Continuity is really a problem in animation, you know. I mean, I get it. I, I understand that there was two kids on the train. If there were infants and you know, like they they were like still really really young, but since they can talk, I think that's proof enough that they're not. Infants. They're more like toddlers. So come on, that's not an excuse, people. Thank you. We should be leaving any minute now. I'll see you later, Caillou. Uh. It looks like the train station is moving. You're moving, you idiot. It's really the train that's moving, Caillou. It just looks like it's the other way around. Ah, are you really that stupid? Why don't we go exploring while mommy puts Rosie down for her nap? Yeah. <laughs> and he yells. Oh, I'm, I'm getting tired of this continuity, guys. I mean, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe not continuity is the right word. Consistency might be the word I'm looking for. But if the logic doesn't hold up, I don't know what will. I mean, I'm fine with the logical every now and then. Maybe like once every, I don't know, two minutes or three minutes. But to have it every two seconds is a real problem. Especially in animation, where consistency and continuity are really, really important. Especially in the graphics. It's good news that I haven't seen any graphical continuity errors, but plot continuity is still a problem. Well, the mom at least heard that. Yeah. Caillou was so excited about exploring the train that he had a hard time keeping quiet. No shit, narrator. Meh. Okay, let's continue. Is that the weirdest walking animation I've ever seen? I'm sorry, I have to play that again, in slow motion. That is just the weirdest walking animation I've ever seen. Category saying the Spindly John walking animation from Scooby Doo the Cyber Chase was weird? No, this takes the cake. I mean, even though the Spindly John walk is very mentionable, or an honorable mention, this totally breaks that. They're like dance walking, like like they're, they're like 1930s like Popeye walking style. I'm like what the heck? Are they trying to sneak or dance? I can't tell. Hard walking in a train, isn't it? Oh. Uh well <sighs> Fine, okay. I didn't see that one coming. That's one of my consistency errors. So what? That happened once in roughly three minutes. This cartoon, how many has it had so far? I forgot, because I forgot how long I counted for. I think it was somewhere around 
17. Maybe less, maybe less. Huh. Okay. And now they walk fine. See, I found another consistency error. On a train was like being on a ride at the amusement park. Okay, seriously, we don't need to repeat everything that's happening every two seconds. This narrator is just like the one in frickin' Peppa Pig! Where's the bathroom? I'm not sure, but it can't be far. Can we find one now? Hey, you had never seen such a small bathroom before. No, I'm not watching this. This is horrible. I'm not watching him use the restroom. If... Oh! Oh, okay. Let's. I. 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 I really couldn't give a kiss. No, can't say that it does. Could you tell us where the restaurant is? There's a restaurant too. Then how do you expect? Unless you packed your own meals. Good luck trying to connect two and two, Caillou. If you couldn't even connect anything else that's happened in this episode. I really want to speak in my hoarse nightly voice if it wasn't so late. In fact, I'll do it really, really quietly. I am whispering so I don't wake up my roommate. Well, I've been loud throughout the rest of this episode, so I'm sure it's fine. I've been really loud throughout the rest of the episode, so I'm sure it's fine. Ice cream for dinner or lunch or whatever. There's no way it's breakfast, because they had to have eaten breakfast before they got there. Unless I'm mistaken. But it's got to be lunch or dinner, most likely. There's no way. His parents are unhealthily... Hiccups again. His parents are letting him get away with these unhealthy decisions. Even more than my parents! I mean, yeah, even though I'm not the best eater, though, and I have a little bit of weight, in all honesty, that's not really because of my parents. That's because of me. So, oh, my God. I, I think I'm going insane, guys. I think I'm going insane. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm clearly pretending. I don't get it. Caillou. Okay, what is later on this episode? Anything? Nothing! No, no, no. Nothing looks intriguing. I'm gonna skim quick really through. Restaurant. I call that a grand tour. You mean, you haven't been to the dome car yet? I'm up some stairs and something with you. I really wondered how a plane could sit on a train. How can he fly on a train, Daddy? Stanley was comparing it to a plane, because we're above the ground and the train goes fast. Come on, you'll see. What? They didn't explain anything! Caillou, this is beautiful. Now do you see why Stanley says it's like being in a plane? Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh my god. Vroom is the sound a car makes. A plane is more like... Vroom. Actually, that's more like a car, okay. Maybe a plane's more like... Yeah, yeah... Damn it, I can't think of any good plane noises. Fine, you win this time, Caillou! She are cussing! Well, this stinks. Didn't even work, even though it works for a tiny cell of a plankton. Oh my god. Okay, skip. I'm just gonna skip ahead. That he wasn't quite ready for bed yet. Come in. Stanley, Mommy says it's bedtime, but the beds aren't here yet. Really? Rosie, wait, I... Three magic words. Sleep. Ah. Uh. Okay, Caillou. You can look now. Wow. I'm 
done. You know what? No. No. I couldn't give a care about this piece of shit of a cartoon. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think that was one of, hands down, the most worst cartoons I've ever watched. It didn't engage me. I mean, even baby Looney Tunes had some form of conflict. Whether it be a tooth fairy, or tattletailing, or... What was the one I watched again? Um, that one was, like, learning school stuff. Like, there was something in there. This has nothing. I can only criticize it. There's nothing I can remotely compliment or relate to. You can say it was a kid's cartoon all you want and I can't relate to it now. Disagreed. If I, no joke, can relate to Winnie the Pooh, I should be able to relate to something like this in some way, shape, or form. But no. Nothing. I couldn't give a care less about this cartoon. I'm Quinn 866. Have a good one. And one more time before we're done, she a Kazik! <laughs> oh my god, even my crush is laughing at me. This is embarrassing considering I died because of a bullshit spellcasting consistency problem. Ugh, whatever. Thanks, Plankton.